Welcome to Marion Local High School, where tonight the homestanding Flyers welcome in the Fort Army Redskins. Hello, everyone. I'm Danny Holbrook alongside Josiah Stober and our entire WOSN crew. And Josiah, they call this the impact game. This is year five of the game. They're playing this game in honor of two great men who left way too early. Aaron Rose, who was a teacher and coach at Fort Laramie for a number of years, a community member of Marion Local. He's got a set of twins who are seniors, another son who is a seventh grader. Aaron died in a tragic car accident the night of the regional finals five years ago, the same night that they played Marion Local. Uh, they also honor this for Dan Toby, who was a teacher and coach at Fort Laramie and Marion Local, who died of cancer in the fall five years ago. They call it the impact game because both of these men had an incredible impact on their students, school, and community. They have a traveling trophy that's presented to the winner of the game. The series is tied two to two. Marion Local won the first game, Fort Laramie won the next two, and Marion won last year. So a great night, a great night. Yeah, it's a great that they you know take the time to honor these men um, that you know did so much for these both of these communities. Um, you know we're a part of both Fort Laramie and Marion Local, so uh, you know we love being a part of this. You know Absolutely. to honor these uh, men, like you said, that that left way too early and. Um, you know, we're hoping for a good game tonight. Yeah. And speaking of a good game, we got a dandy here tonight, uh, Josiah. Fort Laramie comes in at 13-4, and 6-4 and four in the Shelby County League. Marion Local comes in at 12-3, and three, undefeated in the MAC. And for Marion Local, it's all about the big men, Jack Kanapke and Austin Nekan. Talk about Twin Towers. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. No, um, it's been like that for the past couple years. <laughs> right, sure. You know, get the ball inside um, to these, you know, have – Limitless length, let's just say that, <laughs> uh, for these two young men. But, um, you know, for Marion Local, you know, talking about just some of the keys, you know, that the coaching staff got for us for this Marion Local yeah. team. Um, you know, they want to limit these easy baskets uh, from Fort Laramie. Uh, they want to find ways to score. You know, Fort Laramie's known for that tough defense. They Absolutely. get after you. Um, so they got to find some ways to score. Um, but also they got to win the rebounding battle, um, and especially those loose balls. So, you know, any type of those opportunities, those 50-50 balls, um, they know tonight is they must must win it um, to compete against this very good Fort Laramie team. Absolutely. And speaking of Fort Laramie, head, head coach Corey Britton's got a really nice squad this year. They are led by the 6'1 senior, Caleb Maurer. He is a do-it-all guard. He can knock down the three. He can get to the rim. He is absolutely the floor leader for this team. Yeah, and if we look at some of his numbers, as you said, does a little bit of everything for this Fort Laramie team. Comes in shooting 41% from beyond the arc. That's pretty good. That's, that's pretty good. <laughs> that's pretty good. Um, you know, 47%. Uh, you know, field goals all around, so almost 50%, which is an amazing stat. Um, and, you know, it also just shoots just under 80% from the free throw line. But, you know, looking for keys as a whole for this Fort Laramie team, um, you know, we know it. You got to defend the bigs. Oh, yeah, you absolutely. Know? So, you know, they won't, don't want to allow those deep post touches um, of these big men of Kanapke um, and Knee Camp. Um, but also, too, you know, they got a rebound. Um, you know, not as big. Um, they do have some size, but just not as big overall. So they got to win the rebounding battle. Um, and then overall, just got to be tough and physical because we know Marion Local will be. Absolutely. Let's take a look at our starting lineups tonight. For Fort Laramie, as I said, they come in at 13-4, and 6-4 and four in the Shelby County League. Offensively, they average 50.8 a game. Defensively, they give up 40 points a game. They'll go with number 11, Caleb Maurer, the 6'1 senior at 17.4 a game. Number 23, Ryan Holscher is a 6'3 senior at 6.7 a game. Number 30, Ethan Kaiser is a 5'11 senior at 8.9 a game. Number 35, Logan Eilerman is a 6'4 senior at 6.5 a game. And rounding out the starting five for the Fort Laramie Redskins is number 50, Austin Plyman is a 6'5 senior at 5 points a game. For the Marion Local Flyers, under the direction of Kurt Gutmuller, they'll start number 11, Jaden Mesher, the 6'2 seniors at 12.4 a game. He's coming off of an injury. Number 12, Tate Hess, 6'2 senior at 6.9 a game. Number 15, Brandon Ike is a 6'1 senior at 3.5 a game. Number 23, Austin Niekamp, a 6'8 sophomore at 7.4 a game. And number 33, Jack Kanapke is a 6'9 junior at 14.8. The Flyers go at 49.1 a game and defensively at 40.6 a game. So we got a good one, partner. Yeah, two teams that really, on paper, match up really well. It's going to come down to who can win the, that rebounding battle, and, you know, who can win those 50-50 balls. And um, like you said, should be a good one tonight. Absolutely. When we come back, we'll have the tip-off. It's very local. It's Fort Laramie right here on WOSN. Welcome back to Marion Local High School, where we're just getting set to tip off this big non-conference matchup between the Flyers of Marion Local and the Redskins of Fort Laramie. Josiah, we talked so much earlier in the pregame about the big men, Kanapke and Meekamp. 
you you played those post positions in high school and college. What aggravates you the most <laughs> on, when they're trying to defend you? What what uh, what I'm saying is, what can Fort Lormie do to shut those big men down? Yeah, well, uh, do we have enough time to talk about <laughs> everything? Uh, but <laughs> right, right, right. No, but I, I think Fort Lormie and you know, you know, you one you don't want clear you know past the basket. Sure. You know, you got to make sure everything's force them out. Um, you know, if you can double team, you know, uh, make them have to at least think that no, that help is coming to them. Um, you know, so I, I think Fort Lormie will probably try a variety of things um, just to slow down those big men um, tonight. But, you know, anytime there's a lot of hands in there as a big man, you don't like it. Yeah, and you look at Fort Lormie, they are a guard-oriented team. And, and we talked about Caleb Maurer and how really a, a floor general he is. What does Marion Local have to do to shut him down in the production those guards have? Well, I think, you know, it's going to be hard to just completely shut him down. He's that sure. good of a player. Absolutely. I agree. Um, I agree. You know, and I think they'll probably run some different defenders at him, you know, but you want to make sure that there's always help. Don't give him just those easy buckets so that he can get going early. Um, but, you know, force him to make tough shots, and sometimes they're going to go in. So we are underway. Marion Local controls the tip. This is Tate Hess guarded out top by number 30, Ethan Kaiser. They'll push the ball around. Austin Niekamp up top. This is Jaden Mesher. He's back from an injury, and he came back with a vengeance, Joe. The other night, he had 24, and he's knocking down threes all over the place. Yeah, which is good for the Marion local because, you know, sometimes they have struggled to score sometimes throughout the year. So bringing in that offensive threat of Mesher, you know, really helps this team, you know, on the offensive side of the ball. And you look down low in the post, and we got a great matchup down there. Number 50, Austin Plyman, the 6'5 senior, is guarding Jack Kanapke, the 6'9 junior. And those are two wide bodies. Nice dribble drive by Ang, and he knocks it in. Marion Local leads 2 to nothing on the Reese Smearing scoreboard. Tonight's scoreboard is presented by Reese Smearing and Company. CPAs helping small businesses navigate their financial future. Nice little dribble drive there. Yeah, great take there by Ang, because he was able to go to his left and you know, there wasn't not a whole lot of help because they're so focused on, you know, stopping Kanapke getting the ball. So he found that lane and was able to make the easy left-hand layup. So here come the Skins on their first offense position. There's a dribble drive to the foul line. Shot goes off, comes off the iron. Rebound comes down to Eink and the Flyers. They'll bring it down the right side. 6.45 to go. Marion Local leads 2 to nothing. Austin Niekamp trying to push the ball down to Kanapke. They'll go to the, to the corner, still looking down low to the post. Ball comes out top to Eink. And they'll set it back up top. This is Tate Hess. You remember him from the quarterbacking days on the football team. And quite a, quite a season for the Marion Local Flyers, as always. But uh, tremendous athletes down here in that country. So. Uh, Marion Local not in any hurry here, trying to move the ball side to side. And, oh, and there, and yeah. <laughs> you saw Coach Corey Britton for Fort Laramie standing down there, and the ball goes out of bounds and hits him. And the official didn't see it at first. And I think Coach Gutmiller is asking him, too, what happened down there. So uh, Fort Lorman will take the ball back. This is Caleb Maurer with the ball, the 6'1 senior at 17.4 a game, and he can flat out score. And he's got a tough matchup out top. He's guarded, being guarded by Tate Hess. So we'll see what the Redskins can do against this big lineup. Three ball from the right side on the way. Goes off the rim. Rebound comes down to the Redskins. Take it back up, and Austin Niekamp deflects it. And that was number 35, Logan Eilerman, the 6'4 senior, as he sported away on the boards. A little bit of a four-corner look by Fort Laramie, trying to spread out this team, and almost another turnover on back-to-back -back possessions, but looked like it was last touch by Logan Eilerman. Yeah, Eilerman touched it. They tried to go into Niekamp on that low post, and they were really defending backside heavy on that play. This is Kanapke, the 6'9 junior. There's a nice three-pointer from the corner. Off the mark, rebound comes down to number 35. That's Logan Eilerman, the 6'4 junior. Still 2-0 on the Reese Mearing scoreboard. Stick around after the game. We'll have our Stolly Hustle Award winner. I'm just saying I will pick somebody who uh, represents the Stolly Hustle Award. We'll talk about that a little later in the broadcast. Oh, well, it looked like a travel, but he get, doesn't get the call. Nice dribble drive up the side, goes off the rim. Rebound comes down to the skins, and they knock it in. Ethan Kaiser, the 5'11 senior, knocks it in. They make it 2-2 on the Reese Mearing scoreboard. That's what you're going to have to do against this team, Jose. You're going to have to offensive rebound. You're going to absolutely. Well, it's a good drive by the Fort Army uh, player there. and Was able to get to the rim, which forced Jack Knapke to come over and help. And then, 
You know, his teammate on the other end, Plyman was able to catch and finish. Nice job by Austin Meekamp. He misses a shot, gets his rebound, the ball stripped away. Here comes Caleb Maurer in the skins up the right side. Maurer guarded by Tate Hess. Maurer goes to the middle, up the left side. Ball comes down, rebound goes back up. It'll come back down to the Flyers. And Kanapke loses it out of bounds, but they're going to say it was last touch by Caleb Maurer. A little bit of a helter scutter look there. Everybody feeling each other out here. Early minutes, 4-18 here in the first quarter. Coach Britton's really upset about that play. Oh, no, he's he trying to get players into the game. So entering the game now, number 33 for the Skins. That's Aiden Werman. And taking a seat is number 50, Austin Plyman. I think and Coach Britton believed the ball went off of Jack Kanapke on yeah, that I last think, yeah, possession. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, Mitchell Ranley, number 10 for the Flyers, enters the game. There's the post pass into Kanapke. And there you see some fancy footwork by the big man as he goes reverse and misses the shot. But you can see the talent right there. Yeah, Fort Lomi kicks it out. This is Caleb Maurer from way downtown off the front iron. Ball comes down to Jaden Mesher. He'll bring it down. This is Luke Pullman in the game now for the Flyers. And they'll swing it around the perimeter, looking to put the ball into Kanapke's hand. This is Tate Hess with the ball. He'll dribble drive to the foul line. Three ball from the left side, and it's good. Luke Pullman knocks down the triple, and he gives the Flyers the 5-2 lead on the Reese Mary scoreboard. Well, Marion Local comes in tonight shooting 32% from behind the arc. He looked comfortable on that one, partner. <laughs> There's a slip screen there by number 35 for the Skins. And that's Logan Eilerman. He got loose under the rim, and he gets fouled. He's going to go to the line to shoot, too. Foul is on Tate Hess. That's his first. That's the Flyers' first. 3.18 to go. Danny Hilbert, Josiah Stober from the hangar. Marion Local taking on the Fort Lomi Redskins in the impact game. First one on the way. Off the back iron. He'll get a second one. Logan Eilerman comes into the game shooting 58% from the free throw line. As a team, they shoot 65%. Second one's good. Makes it 5-3 on the Reese Mearing scoreboard. So Hess will bring the ball down. Cross to Mesher. Back over to Pullman. They'll go back into Kanapke. Nice ball movement by the Flyers. I love the way they move the ball and that skip pass. And then when they skip pass, Kanapke's got his man sealed on the block, and he's really good at that. Well, it's no mystery. The way Marion Local runs their offense is they want to get the ball into Jack Knapke as he takes a breather here to come off the floor. But hey, that's pretty nice when you can take a 6'9 kid out with a 6'8 kid. So. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Luke Pullman with back-to-back -back buckets. Makes it 7-3 on the re-smearing scoreboard. Pullman's got five to lead the Flyers off the bench. Here come the skins again, down 7-3. Dribble drive to the foul line. Kick it back out. This is Caleb Maurer from the left side, or the right side, excuse me. Nice rebound and put back by number 23 for the Skins. That's Ryan Holscher, the 6'3 guard, jumps out of the gym and knocks it in to make it 7-5 on the re-smearing scoreboard. Three ball from the top of the key for the Flyers, and it's good. My goodness, Mitchell Randley knocks in the three, and we got threes flying everywhere, Joe. Yeah, and, and really, you know, neither team shoots great. Um, you know, outside of Caleb Mauer, <laughs> right, who shoots right. really well uh, from the three. So, um, good sign for both teams as, you know, they're getting some open shots. Uh, Fort Lauderdale hasn't been able to knock them down, but one thing their key coach Brighton talked about was we got to rebound, and they've done a really good job of rebounding. And there right there is a great dribble drive by number 35, Logan Eilerman. He got Austin Niekamp to take the fake. As soon as he went in the air, he goes to the rim, and that is good technique. If you're a youngster watching the game right now and you saw exactly what he did, he didn't settle for that jump shot. He went to the rim, and he gets two free throws. This is the first one. Our free throw sponsor tonight is the Union Bank. Tonight's free throws. Union Bank is committed to you. Union Bank, our free throw sponsor. You're a big man, Joe. Did you get a lot of free throws in back in the day? I did, didn't I? <laughs> I shot pretty well. Did you? Would Guy Neal tell me that? Would he, would, he, would, he, would he agree with that? Uh, I think I shot better in high school than I did in college, so... <laughs> Hey, by the way, congratulations on a heck of a career for Coach Neal at Bluffton College. And he's a good man, and uh, I've known Guy for a while, and he does a terrific job, and a uh, good man. So 
Bluffton community should be proud of what he's done for these 34 years. Yeah, really rare for a coach to stay around for right, 34 right? years in one yeah. program. So, <laughs> yeah, you know, best of luck on whatever he decides to do. Uh, some much needed time off probably. Take and a vacation, coach. Yeah, take, take, a, take, a vacation. take a long vacation. <laughs> Here come the Flyers up 10-5. This is Jaden Mesher. He'll swing it around to Mitchell Ranley. Back to Hess. Back over to Pullman. Pullman looking, trying to get the ball against Kanapke. Swing it back to Mesher. 1.33 to go here in the first quarter. Flyers lead 10-5. Danny Holbrook, Josiah Stober from Marion Local High School. There's the dribble drive by Hess. He loses the ball, and they're going to say a travel, and that's the exact call that should have been made. So Coach Gutmuller is going to make a substitution. He'll bring number 15 back in the game, Brandon Eink, and <coughs> Jaden Mesher will take a seat. So right now, Joe, Fort Loramie is settling for a lot of jump shots other than the last play where they went to the rim, having a hard time getting to the rim. Yeah, haven't had a whole lot from outside, but uh, one thing that has kept them in this game has been that offensive rebound. Already three offensive rebounds exactly. on the night, yep. so they continue to attack and they keep doing that and getting another offensive rebound. And there you saw by it. By Austin Plyman. Absolutely. Caleb Maurer misses the shot. Austin Plyman comes up and gets the offensive board, puts it back in, and makes it 10-7 on the re-smearing scoreboard. There's a three from the right side, off the mark. Rebound comes down to the Redskins, and Plyman just got caught up and falls backward, and he gets a travel call. Yeah, he's really working hard there to block out Jack Napke, and once <laughs> the ball finally, <laughs> ball finally came to him, but That's he's a, a little bit chore. off balance and traveled there. But Kanapke and Hess, or excuse me, Tate Hess and Kanapke will take a seat. They'll bring Jaden Mesher back in, Austin Niekamp. He'll, he'll get the ball. Pullman from the top of the key, and he knocks it down. Luke Pullman with a second triple on the night. Make it 13-7 on the Reese Mary scoreboard. Pullman's got eight to lead all scores. Yeah, Luke Pullman only comes in averaging 4.7 points a game, so big night for him early already. And there's a nice dribble drive by Ethan Kaiser, the 5'11 senior, knocks in the deuce, and he makes the 13-9 on the Reese Mary scoreboard with 25 seconds to go in the first quarter. So the Flyers will pull it back out, and they'll hold for one shot. This is Eink with the ball out top. He's guarded on top by Ethan Kaiser. Brandon Eink takes it up. Get it to Mesher. Mesher dribble drives against Maurer. Back to Eink. Almost loses it out of bounds. Four seconds. Eink with the drive. Tries to get it up from the three-pointer, and it goes off the mark. So after one quarter for Marion Local High School, the Marion Local Flyers lead the Fort Lauderdale Redskins 13-9. You're watching high school basketball on WOSN. Welcome back to Marion Local High School, where after one quarter of play, the Marion Local Flyers lead the Fort Lumber Redskins 13-9. And so far, partner, it's been the outside shooting of Marion Local, and they're knocking down everything. Yeah, three threes there in that first quarter. Um, you know, kind of a big story, though. You know, Jack Knapke, um, leading scorer for Marion Local, no points there in the first sure. quarter. Caleb Maurer, 17.4 points on the season. Yeah, right. right. Held scoreless there in the first quarter. So uh, both teams trying to find ways um, to score outside of their you know, star players on their team. So the Redskins will take the ball here to start the second quarter. Maurer tries to cut back door. Good matchup out there with Ethan Kaiser being guarded by Ike. They'll swing it to the corner. This is Caleb Maurer guarded by Tate Hess up top. Maurer goes between the legs, double teamed out top. Now they'll find the open man. Thought about the three. Maurer dribble drives to the foul line. Jumper goes up, off the mark. Rebound comes down, corralled by Fort Loramie. And number 35, Logan Eilerman. So they're getting a lot of offensive rebounds, Joe. Yeah, absolutely. That's the fourth rebound of the night for Logan Eilerman himself. So, well, we talked know. about it pregame. They've got an offensive rebound to stay in this game, and that's exactly what they're doing. Logan Eilerman back to Caleb Maurer. Screen out top. Ryan Holscher with the screen. They'll go dribble drive to the foul line. Back to Eilerman. Eilerman guarded by Austin Niekamp. He'll drive it in, spin a little bit, up with the right hand, and knocks it in. Logan Eilerman, the 6'4 senior, goes against Austin Niekamp, and he makes it 13-11 on the re-smearing scoreboard. Yeah, really a tough there by Lo tough shot by Logan Eilerman. He sure he's, he almost looked like he was about to travel, but was able to regain his composure and go up and shoot over the taller defender. 
Skip pass to Austin Niekamp in the corner. Three ball on the way, and it goes off the mark. Ball's going to go back to Fort Lormie. So Fort Lormie right in this thing down two with a chance to tie or take the lead here. Uh, and, and really, you know, you look at the first quarter, Marion Local outplayed them, but they're right here in this game. Yeah, and you don't want to see Marion Local start settling for threes. You sure. know, it's a team that's built on, you know, getting the ball inside to their post players. You know, so far this um, this night, they have shot a lot of threes. So we'll see if they slow down a little bit, you know, get back into their offense that they're used to. Shot off the mark there by Ethan Kaiser. Rebound comes down to Marion Local. This is Tate Hess, guarded by Caleb Maurer. Kicks it out to Eink. He's guarded by Holscher on the left side. This is Eink, thought about shooting. Goes dribble drive baseline, takes it up left hand, and a nice score. Number 15 for the Flyers. Brandon Eink with a nifty move on the left side, and he gives the Flyers the 15-11 lead on the Reese Mearing scoreboard. Marion Local doing a great job there on Caleb Maurer. He's trying to come off these screens and good communication between Tess and, and Kanapke on that last possession to really make it difficult for him. There's Caleb Maurer, dribble drive, little jumper from the foul line, and he knocks it in. Caleb Maurer finally gets off the snide, and he makes it 15-13 on the Reese Mearing scoreboard. Hey, once that kid gets hot, you better look out because he can score in bunches. Nice drive by Tate Hess, takes it up, and he's fouled by Ethan Kaiser, the 5'11 senior, gets him on the arm, and that'll put Hess in the line for two. Tonight's free throw sponsor is the Union Bank. Union Bank is committed to you. A little pressure if you got a bank sponsor as a free throw, you know? <laughs> Not like you're winning any money or anything, but... Uh, well, you know. Do you have to bank it in? <laughs> ah, nice, I like that play on words. <laughs> That's money, that shot was money. <laughs> all right, we're done, folks. <laughs> We'll be here all week. <laughs> Number 12. Nobody else will, but we no, will. That's right, that's right. <laughs> Open mic night here at WSN. Tate Hess knocks in the first one, makes it 16-13 on the Reese Mary scoreboard. He's got another one. He'll let it fly, and he knocks it in. So Tate Hess gets two free throws there. That young man's got two on the night. Here comes Caleb Maurer with the ball. 5.09 to go here in the second quarter. Flyers lead 13-11. He'll swing it around. This is Holscher out top, guarded by Jaden Mesher. Caleb Maurer guarded by Hess. Trying to put it into Plyman, who's guarded by Kanapke. Nice left-handed turnaround. Goes off the mark. Rebound comes down to Jack Kanapke, and there you saw the size advantage Jack Kanapke has. Yeah, just able to force it. Plyman into a quick shot on that last possession, but, you know, one of those things. Can't really teach size. Sure. There's Jaden Mesher, the sharpshooter, knocks it in. Jaden Mesher, the 6'2 senior who averages 12.4 a game. He knocks in the three. He's got three on the night, and the Flyers make it a 2013 lead. Yeah, the Flyers are hot from this. They are. Beyond the arc, 4-3 of the night already for this Flyers team. Well, we know how good they can shoot when they are hot, and Jaden Mesher, boy, he can really stroke the basketball. It's well, it makes it really difficult for the other team is when they can't double down on Kanapke, they have to stay out. So that later in when they wear him down, Kanapke can uh, be more aggressive there inside the post. And there you saw Caleb Maurer, his ability to create his own shot, goes to the free throw line, extended, knocks in the jumper, and he closes that gap to 2015 on the Reese Marion scoreboard. So it's almost, Josiah, like Marion Locals keeping him at arm length, and they're keeping that lead at three, four, and five points, and they're going to get a foul. And it looks like they're going to get number 30, Ethan Kaiser, on the foul. Yeah, I believe that's number two. Yeah, that's that, that's big on Kaiser, the 5'11 guard. He's uh, going to have to take a seat. Well, they're going to keep him in the game. They're going to they set uh, number 50, Austin Plyman, the 6'5 forward. He'll take a seat. Nice little alley oop play there. Goes off the mark. Luke Pullman comes in. They try to throw it up for him in front of the rim, and he misses the shot. Caleb Maurer brings it down, goes behind his back, goes to the right side, and wow, that's all I'm going to say, folks. That was a big-time move. Caleb Maurer knocks it in to make it 2017 on the Reese Mearing scoreboard. Well, Caleb Maurer shows a quick first step oh as he my. was able to cross over and drive to his right and knew he had nobody to block him. And There you see Austin Niekamp seals his man off, and he knocks in the deuce to make it 22-17. Austin Niekamp's got two on the night. Redskins go to the foul line extended. They'll bring it back out to Caleb Maurer. He gets a screen on the right side. 
Nice job by the Skins. What a play by number 33, Aiden Weirman, as he knocks in the jumper. With 2.50 to go, the Flyers lead the Skins 22-19. We'll take a break right here on OSN. Welcome back to Marion Local High School. We're 2.50 to go in the second quarter. The Flyers lead the Fort Laurie Redskins 22-19. And Josiah, we look at Marion Local statistically from the three, they only shoot, as you said, 30%. And I mean, their confidence level right now is through the roof. Yeah, absolutely. You know, they're finding a lot of good looks too. You know, they're not yeah, contested right. shots. Yeah. They're really good looks. And I think that has to do though with the teams focusing so much on stopping Jack Knapke from getting the ball. You know, have to help a little bit more, sure. which is allowing those guards to have a lot more open space to knock down those threes. So here come the Flyers out of the timeout. This is Jaden Mesher. He's guarded by Caleb Maurer up top. They're trying to get loose on the low post as Jack Knapke just takes it up, misses the shot. Boy, he was, they were hanging all over him. They're letting him play right now. Ball comes down to Fort Lormy. Here comes Caleb Maurer, and he's going to be fouled by Jaden Mesher out top. Well, we're starting to see a little bit of confidence from Caleb Maurer. You know, here in this second quarter is being a little bit more aggressive, trying to find his shot. You know, he's the type of player that doesn't need a screen. You know, he can find you're his own shot. Yeah, and, you're absolutely um, right. He's starting to do that here in the second quarter. You're absolutely right. So, Fort Lorme will take it out of bounds, and they're waiting on somebody to take it out of bounds. So, Maurer steps up, and he'll take it out of bounds. He'll get it over to Ryan Holscher. Holscher on the left side goes to the baseline. Takes a little turnaround jumper off the mark. Rebound comes down to Plyman, puts it back up. Rebound comes down, and it's going to go back to Marion Local. So a nice job by Austin Plyman of getting that offensive board, which he's been doing all night. But it'll go back to Marion Local with 2.18 to go. Oh, this Fort Laramie Redskins team is really crashing the offensive glass, out rebounding this Marion Local team. And they tried to push it into Kanapke. Skip pass across from the right side. Three ball on the way, and it's good. Mitchell Ranley, the six-foot junior, knocks in the triple. He's got six on the night, and he goes 25-19 on the Reese Mearing scoreboard. Yeah, second three of the night for Mitchell Ranley. Is he only averages three a game, you know? That's that's great job by that young man. Bauer pushes the ball down the low post. A little reverse layup. Missed on the boards. Jack Kanapke with a big-time rebound. He'll get it out to Tate Hess on the right side. It's definitely some big boys playing tonight. You know, officials letting him be a little bit more physical, which Three as a postman yeah. we loved. <laughs> Three ball from the left side. It's off the mark. Rebound comes down. Thrown back into the front. This is Caleb Mowers. He gets the loose ball. Goes to the middle. Back up. A little reverse layup, and it's blocked by Tate Hess. And Jack Kanapke comes down with the rebound. 105 to go here in the first half. Flyers lead 25-19. Three ball from the left side by Ranley, and it's good! Mitchell Ranley with his third three of the night, and he gives the Flyers the 28-19 lead on the Reese Mearing scoreboard. Yeah, Mitchell it's raining Ranley threes, baby. It's knocking raining. down some big shots. <laughs> There's a little dribble drive, number 34, Max Maurer. So it looks like Maurer was fouled. Take it out of bounds in front of the Marion local bench. These are, look, we've talked about these players a lot tonight, but there's, these are two fantastic coaches. Kurt, Kurt Gutmuller and Corey Britton are, are just fantastic in the way they lead their programs and year in and year out. Really, really great teachers of the game. Yeah, you can see that. Just really fundamental teams. Oh, you know, yeah. Don't make a whole lot of mistakes. Don't turn the ball over a whole lot. Know what their coaches expect out of them. And a turnover there by Maurer with Fort a Lurman. turnover, yeah. Max Maurer drags that other foot, and they'll go back to Marion Local. Entering back into the game now is number 11, Jaden Mesher. And Eink will take a seat. Uh, one thing I'm noticing, especially, you know, I love to watch the big men play. <laughs> you see <laughs> Jack Kanapke <laughs> and Austin Plyman. You look at them. When there's a, a break in play, both of them are, are really <laughs> heaving right now. They've been battling so they hard have. tonight. Uh, so it's, it's a lot of fun to watch. 11, 10 seconds to go. This is Hess guarded out top by Holscher. Hess with the ball, and he's going to get fouled out top. They'll get the foul on Ryan Holscher. 
Yeah, neither team really close to you know the bonus here. Both sure. teams only have four team fouls, so that's Holscher's first. Hessel get it back into Mesher. Mesher guarded out top, and there's going to be a foul on number 34, Max Mauer. So Coach Britton going to use up all those fouls here and not allow a shot to get taken, I guess. Doing a great job of defensive strategy. Four seconds to go. Ball comes in. This is Mesher. He misses off the mark. Goes back to Fort Laramie, and that's how the first half will end. So after two quarters of play here from Marion Local, the Marion Local Flyers lead the Fort Laramie Redskins 28-19. We'll be back with second half action right after these messages. Welcome back to Marion Local High School. We're at halftime, the Marion Local Flyers lead the Fort Laramie Redskins 28-19. And Josiah, let's take a look for Fort Laramie first. And they're down, you know, they're, they're, it looks like a struggle right now to get anything on the offensive sets. Yeah, and we started to see Caleb Maurer, their leading scorer, starting to get a little warm there in that second quarter. Was held scoreless in the first quarter, um, but had six points for Fort Laramie there in that second quarter. Uh, his teammates, Austin Plyman, has four points. Uh, Logan Eilerman has three points, has been big on the offensive glass, um, has six rebounds overall on the night. Uh, for the home team, the Marion Local Flyers, um, really the story's been their outside shooting oh early. Mitchell Ranley coming off the bench, nine points, three threes there in that first half. Uh, Luke Pullman has eight, has two of those threes. You know, kind of a big story to talk about, it, but Jack Napke held scoreless there in that first half, no points. So, Marion Local finding other ways to score. Yeah, and it's interesting, Josiah, that you should say that Jack Kanapke has zero points, but he is affecting the game. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. You know, you know, forcing um, Austin Plyman a couple times to change his shot. Sure. You know, when he's going up. So, you know, he does have five rebounds on the night. So um, we'll see what um, changes that both coaches made there at halftime to see if they can get their leading scores going. So here we go, the start of the second half. Flyers up 28-19. Danny Holbrook, Josiah Stober from Marion Local High School. This is Mesher, goes back into knee camp. Knee camp, a little high-low action with Kanapke. Eink on the drive on the left side, he knocks it in on the left side. Brandon Eink with the deuce, and he makes it 30-19 on the Reese Mearing scoreboard. Tonight's scoreboard is presented by Reese Mearing and Company, CPAs, helping small businesses navigate their financial future. So here's Caleb Mauer, the leading scorer for the Redskins. He was held to six in the first half. He'll swing it around to Kaiser. Kaiser dribble drive to the foul line. Back out to Holscher. Holscher goes back to Logan Eilerman. Oh, we see Marion Local really hedging on those screens, forcing Fort Lorman to go a lot wider than probably what they're used to on the offensive side. Caleb Maurer with the shot, he misses that. And they're gonna say Marion Local stepped out of it. You see what uh, Fort Lormie did there on that first offensive set. They brought Austin Plyman out top to get Kanapke away from the basket, and that's when Maurer went in, and Kanapke did a great job of getting back in position. Yeah, they're really trying to isolate Kanapke, force him a little bit farther away from the hoop, but he's done a really good job here, you know, hedging on those screens, making it difficult. Not giving anything easy. Oh, Caleb Maurer, shots blocked. He attempted the three, gets his re or gets the ball back. Here comes Maurer again on the dribble drive. And he's thwarted again by Jack and Apke and Austin Meekamp, but they make a wall, and he can't get to the basket. Now we got a mismatch there out top. Let's see if Caleb Maurer will come back and get the ball, which he should with yes. Kanapke on him. Three ball on the way from the left side, and it's good. Ethan Kaiser knocks in the triple, and he closes the gap to 30-22. They needed that in the worst way. Yeah, first three of the night for this Fort Laramie team, and Ethan does shoot pretty well uh, from three. Shoots over 50%. Hasn't shot a ton of them, but does a really good Hess. job. Ball comes down. Austin Neekan gets the rebound, and he's going to be fouled on the floor. Fouls on number 35 for the Redskins, Logan Eilerman, the 6'4 senior. Hess will trigger the ball out underneath the Flyers' basket in front of the student section. They'll go Jack Kanapke. Austin Neekamp out top. They'll go back to Hess on the side. Jake Mesher from the top of the key. Misses the three. Rebound to Kanapke. Kanapke takes it up, and he's going to be fouled by Austin Plyman. I don't think Plyman had a choice there. He was either going to give up an easy bucket or he was going to foul him. 
Yeah, Plyman found himself on the backside of Jack Knapke and is making Jack Knapke earn these points here. Knapke goes to the line, first one's on the way, misses that one. Jack Knapke, the 6'9 junior, averages 15 points a game. He has been held scoreless tonight, but as we said earlier, he's affected this game on the offensive and defensive ends because Fort Laramie has to account for him, and defensively, he is a matchup nightmare. So he's yeah. ready for the second one. It's on the way, and he's finally in the books. Jack Knapke knocks in the second one, makes it 31-22 in the Reese smearing scoreboard. Yeah, like you said, uh, has six rebounds on the night for Jack Knapke, so he's done a good job of cleaning up the boards for this Flyers team. Caleb Maurer brings it down. He's guarded by Tate Hess. He'll swing it across to Kaiser. Kaiser goes back to Eilerman. Eilerman, back. Eilerman slips that screen and goes inside. Nice job by Logan Eilerman with the deuce, and he cuts the lead to 31-24. Eilerman's got five on the night. They've done that a couple times tonight where they Ironman have. has slipped pretty early, so we'll see if they continue to, to use that. Back into Kanapke. Kanapke misses the shot. Rebound comes down to Holscher. Nice job of the Skins defending that play. Kanapke just misses it. Holscher will bring it down. He's guarded by Jaden Mesher. He'll swing it back to Aiden Weirman. He's entered the game now. Three ball on the way from the top of the key. Off the mark. Rebound comes down. They get an outlet pass to Kanapke. Kanapke has to corral it in. Eink with the save, back to Jaden Mesher, and it's good. Jaden Mesher bails the Flyers out, knocks in the triple to make it 34-24 on the Reese Mearing scoreboard. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's one of those, uh, what just happened? That's right, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, ball got away from everybody and ends up in Jaden Mesher, the best shooter on the team, and he knocks in the three. Skins lose the ball there, corralled by Jack Kanapke, and Tate Hess will bring it up the right side. He'll go to the free throw line. Back to Eink. Back to Mitchell Ranley. Ranley swings it around to Eink. He's looking for Kanapke. Get into Kanapke on the low post. Kanapke with a little turnaround, loses the ball. Here comes Caleb Maurer down the middle of the floor. Caleb Maurer goes to the foul and takes it in left-handed and misses the easy shot. It rimmed in and out. I thought that was down for sure. There's Eink from the left side, right side, three ball, misses, rims out, rebound comes down to Eilerman. He'll get it out to Holscher. So 34-24 on the Reese Mearing scoreboard. Danny Holbrook, Josiah Stover from the hangar in Marion Local High School. They lead by 10 here. This is Holscher with the dribble drive, goes up left hand and misses the shot. Nice job by Tate Hess of blocking the basket. This is Jaden Mesher on the right side. Fort Lauren missing back-to-back -back possessions, missing layups, so, you know, can't do that against a quality team like this Marion local team. And there you saw Jack Kanapke with the muscle move, and Logan Eilerman fouls him on the way up. Kanapke knocks it down, and he'll go to the line for the old-fashioned three. We knew this was going to happen sooner or later. Jack Kanapke's too good of a player to stay scoreless, and there you see him flexing his muscle. Well, and once again, Fort Laramie's defense is having to decide, do we give up a lot of space to these sure. guards who have been knocking down threes Absolutely. like crazy, or do we help down on Jack Knapke? And he knocks in that one. Tonight's free throw sponsor is the Union Bank. Union Bank is committed to you. So there you see Jack Knapke knocking that down. He's got five on the night, and he has finally come alive here in the second half for the Flyers. And you're right, this Marion local team, when they are hitting on all cylinders, they're as good as any team in Northwest Ohio. Yeah, it's so difficult to defend when those guards are knocking down shots from the outside because, you know, like we talked about, we know about their size inside, you know, but when their guards are, are firing sure. in all cylinders, you know, who do you stop? <laughs> well, that's the, that's the poison right now Corey Britton has to face. There's Caleb Maurer with a three ball from the right side. Off the mark, rebound comes down to Mitchell Ranley. And the Flyers lead 37-24 on the Reese Mearing scoreboard. This is Pullman. He was on fire in the first half. He's kind of cooled down a little bit here in the second half, but he was on absolute fire in the first half. Tate Hess guarded up top by Weirman. And Hess with a little reverse layup. Holscher tries to corral it. He'll bring it down for the skins. Well, the officials are continuing to let him play. You know, even in those rebounds, a lot of hand checking going on. And 
There's a real nice triple drive on the right side by Ryan Holcher. And Corey Briggs is going to take a timeout. We'll take a timeout here in the booth. You're watching High School Basketball. Welcome back to Marion Local High School. We're with 218 to go in the third quarter. The Marion Local Flyers lead 37-26. Josiah, you had talked about pregame keys before the game. And we take a look at the keys, and it reads like a book. Marion Local, take away easy buckets, check. <laughs> Find ways to score, check. And win the rebounding and the loose balls battle. Now, I will say this. Fort Lumi's done a great job on the offensive board side, but still, Marion Local continues to get loose balls and rebounds. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, um, that, you know, find ways to score. Seven right. different Marion local uh, players have scored, you know, and really it hasn't been their leading scorers that are finding ways to score and knocking down some big shots. So, um, you know, you look at Mitchell Ranley, nine points. Uh, Luke Pullman, uh, you know, eight points on the sure. night. You know, Brandon Mink, six points. You know, these are guys that are averaging under four points a game. And they're and, all you know, contributing. Absolutely. That's a great point, Josiah. That's a great point. So the Flyers lead 37-26 with 1.55 to go here in the third quarter. Pullman up top. They'll swing it to Hess. Back down to Kanapke. Kanapke guarded by Plyman. Kanapke with a level. Turn around. He gets a kick back out. Coach Britton for Fort Lorme is screaming travel, but they're going to get number 50, Austin Plyman, on the push. And, you know, Austin Plyman is a 6'5 senior, and he's given up four inches to Jack Kanapke. And uh, not only that, Jack Knapke is a solid basketball player. Absolutely. <laughs> you can tell he gets to the weight room. So Marion Local will take it out underneath their basket in front of the student section. Lob it up to Niekamp. Niekamp turn around, jumper, a little half hook, and it goes in. Austin Niekamp, the 6'8 sophomore, knocks it in. Make it 39-26 on the Reese Marion scoreboard. Knee camp's got four. Oh, what a great option to have to just be able to throw it up and right. jump and go get it. <laughs> right. Because I don't think Fort Lerman played bad defense on it. And there you saw number 35, Logan Eilerman, with that slip screen. That's worked all night, but he misses that shot. Comes back down to the Flyers. Kanapke gets it up top. He'll swing it around to Jaden Mesher. Well, missing those easy layups are things you can't do Back against a quality yeah. team. Yep. Against, like the Flyers team, you know, six points just here in this quarter. And there's a real strong move by Jack Kanapke. Great position, goes up strong, and was not going to be denied. And it's 41 26 on the Reese Marion scoreboard. And Kanapke's got six on the night. Nice job by Plyman of getting away from that screen. Austin Plyman, the 6'5 senior, he'll get fouled. He'll go to the line, he'll shoot two. That foul was on number 13. Excuse me, let's see. Was, no, I'm sorry, 23 for the Flyers. That was Austin, or excuse me, Austin Meekamp with the foul. Well, and you know, even look there, it's just another layup that was missed there um, by Plyman. Now he was fouled, but, you know, you look at eight points this quarter alone, you know, yeah. on layups, you know, that would have been point. nine. You know, it might be a different ball game, you sure. know, with those points. So 48 seconds to go. Austin Plyman knocks in the first one. Plyman's got five on the night. Makes it 41-27. Second one on the way. And a nice job by the big man knocking them both in. It's 41-28, 48 seconds to go. Plyman's got six on the night for the Redskins. And they're gonna get Austin Plyman a breather here for 48 seconds of the third quarter. Uh -oh. They're gonna bring in number 22 for Fort Lorme. But she's 32, and there's a nice dribble drive. Luke Pullman, he's got 10 on the night. Entering the game now for Fort Lumi. Number 32, Darren Eilerman, the 6'1 senior, seeing first action tonight. There's Caleb Maurer with a little dribble drive in the middle. He misses that shot, gets his own rebound, takes it, tries to go back up against Kanapke. Corrals the loose ball. This is Maurer out top, guarded by Tate Hess. We're down to 15 seconds. Maurer goes right side. Goes baseline, nice nifty move, little reverse layup, misses that shot. There's another one of those misses, Josiah. Here comes Tate Hess and the Flyers. We're at five seconds. Over to Mesher, Mesher from the right side, off the mark. And the rebound comes down to four Lormy, and that's how the third quarter will end. So after three quarters from Marion Local High School, the Flyers lead the four Lormy Redskins 43-28. We'll be back for fourth quarter action right here on WSN. Season 
18 of the Sports Report continues Friday night. Join Patrick Hamlin for a full hour of the most comprehensive basketball coverage around all season long, Fridays at 10 p.m. on WTLW. So Josiah, the whole story of the third quarter was Fort Loramie's inability to knock down easy shots. They were getting good looks at the rim. They just missed a lot of shots. Yeah, absolutely. You know, on, on my count, 10 points um, yeah. missed layups. But, you know, it goes back to the, this defense from Marion Local. They're so long. Oh. They're so athletic, you know, forcing them to, you know, alter their shots when they go up. So you can see as they go up, they're trying to go up quick to get it up so it's not blocked and it's forcing them to miss these easy buckets. So Caleb Maurer with the ball out top. He averages 17.4. He has been held to six tonight, so he is well below his season average. There's a jumper from the free throw line off the mark. Rebound comes down to Eilerman. He corrals it back up, goes up against Kanapi with a left hand, and he gets fouled. He'll go to the line for two. That's the first foul on Jack Kanapke. That'll send Logan Eilerman to the free throw line. Logan Eilerman, 6'4". Senior averages 6.5 on the season. He's got that right now at six. He knocks down the first one. Yeah, Logan Eilerman is two for five from the free throw line. Misses that one. Rebound comes down to the Flyers. 7.41 to go. Danny Holbrook, Josiah Stober from Marion Local High School. Stick around after the game. We'll check out our WSN YouTube page for highlights of tonight's winner. It's our Stolly Hustle Award winner. Josiah Stober and I will pick out a worthy recipient of that award. A little skip pass to the right, left side. Dribble drive to the foul line. And that ball's deflected out of bounds by Darren Eilerman. Gets his hand up and knocks it out. Back inside the canap. He had really good position. He's going to turn around left-handed. And a strong move as he goes up and under and knocks in the deuce. And they're going to get Logan Island in the foul. That was just strength right there, Josiah. Yeah, and he did, you know, he wasn't rushed. No, right. You know, the ball got tipped initially into the post, was able to corral it, and then you saw that strong move over his right shoulder. He misses that free throw. He's got eight on the night. This is Caleb Maurer out top. Guarded by Austin Meekamp and Tate Hess. Eilerman with the dribble drive on the left side. He goes up against Kanapke. And they're going to say Jack Kanapke fouls him. That's Kanapke's second foul on the night. That'll send Logan Eilerman back to the free throw line. Flyers lead 45-29 on the Reese Marion scoreboard. Our free throw sponsor tonight is Union Bank. Union Bank is committed to you. So Eilerman knocks down the first one. Entering the game now for Marion Local, number four, Luke Pullman. And Jack Knapke will take a seat. Second one on the way. And he knocks that one down. Logan Eilerman's got seven on the night. Well, Fort Lormie's coming out with a little bit of full court pressure here. Going to double to see if they can speed up this Flyers team. Austin Neekamp on the post. They're going to get Eilerman, Darren Eilerman on the foul. And didn't have a choice there because Austin Neekamp with some fancy footwork, got really good position, was going to go up and knock it in. So Austin Neekamp will go to the free throw line. Well, we're starting to see these big men of Marion Local starting to wear down this inside presence of this Fort Laramie team. Austin Neekamp shoots 45.5% on the year from the charity stripe. Second on the way, goes off the mark. Rebound comes down to Ryan Holscher. Eilerman tried to get it in the middle there, and it was thwarted off by Neekamp. And we'll go back to Marion Local with 6.35 to go in the fourth quarter. Skip pass across to Pullman. Pullman was deadly in the first half, knocking down threes from everywhere. Yeah, Marion Local. Oh deciding to take some time off this clock with this big lead here. I'm sure it's one of those things, though, he realized, you know, if I shoot this and miss, Coach might be a little bit upset You're with right. this lead. <laughs> You're right. Ike with the ball out top. 
He's guarded by number 30, Ethan Kaiser. They'll go to Randley on the right side. Randley's double teamed up top. And Coach Scott Miller's going to take a timeout. We're going to take a timeout here. 5.59 to go. You're watching High School Basketball on WLSN. Welcome back to Marion Local High School with 5.59 to go. The Flyers continue a 14-point lead over the Fort Lauderdale Redskins, 45-31. And uh, Coach Gutmiller saw something he didn't like, Josiah. What do you think he told those kids? Well, he saw his, his player was trapped in a, in a bad spot. So I think he's just telling them, you know, move the ball. You know, we're not in any rush. If it's a layup, take it. Um, but, you know, you know, let's not, you know, give away needless turnovers here. And almost a turnover, but a good catch there by uh, Nick Camp to corral that ball, so. Austin Neekamp fouled on the shot. He's fouled by Logan Eilerman. That is Logan Eilerman's third foul. And that'll send Austin Neekamp to the line. As I said earlier, Austin Neekamp is a 45.5% shooter. As a team, Marion Louisville shoots 63% from the line. And he misses that one. Second one on the way, he misses that one. The ball goes out of bounds, and they're going to say ball goes to Fort Loramie. You can see, Josiah, the look on Caleb Maurer right now is a look of frustration as he's been bottled up pretty much all night, and he's a really good player, and uh, you know he's a little frustrated. Marion Locals played really good defense. Yeah, well, you got to give Tate Hess a lot of that credit. Oh, he's been on him all night making it difficult, um, but it's also these big men have done a really good job of hedging on those screens, yeah, absolutely. making it very difficult here. And Three ball from the left side, off the mark. Logan Eilerman misses that shot. Rebound comes to Caleb Maurer. Maurer from the right side, and he knocks down the three, and they're saying it was a two. They're saying it was a two. So Caleb Maurer gets the deuce, and he makes it 45-33. So here come the skins. Don't leave yet, ladies and gentlemen. We're down 12 with 5.15 to go. This is Ike, dribble drive all the way down the floor. Misses that shot, rebound Austin Neekamp, puts it back in. Jack Kanapke tried to get the rebound, it goes off his fingertips, and the 6'8 sophomore corrals it and puts it in. Yeah, well you want your big men to run to the rim on any shot, and Neekamp did that and found himself an easy bucket there. Give him six points on the night. Eilerman with the ball out top, he'll swing it around to Ethan Kaiser. Kaiser dribble drive to the foul line, kick it back out to Eilerman. Eilerman guarded by Jack Kanapke. Eilerman's taking it in to the right side, and he's going to get called for a travel. Drug that foot. So nothing coming easy for Fort Lorman when they go down on the baseline or get down on the post. Tough job sledding all the way around. Here comes Tate Hess. He's guarded out top by Holscher. 4.30 to go here in this one. Number 13, Fort Lormy, and number eight, Marion Local. So a battle of big boys tonight. And it's been Marion Local from the start. This is Kanapke down low, left-handed. Kicks it back out. Austin Eakin down low to the post. Eink down low, and he knocks it in. Brandon Eink, the 6'1 senior, knocks it in. He's got eight on the night, and Fort Laramie down 49-33 to the Marion Local Flyers. Well, what a pass there by Austin Neekamp. Looked like he might take the shot, but saw his teammate Brandon Eink Standing all alone there on the block and gets the easy two. Three ball on the way from the right side. That was Austin Plyman, the 6'5 senior, misses the mark. Rebound comes down to Tate Hess. Swings it across to Ike. Marion Local leads 49-33 back into Kanapke, down low. And Kanapke went up strong, and he's fouled by number 50, Austin Plyman. And, uh, he had uh, intentions of uh, scoring big time there. <laughs> Yeah, he wasn't uh, going to be stopped there. And took two Fort Laramie defenders to kind of put a lot of pressure on him to kind of knock him off his step. But opportunity here, shoots 64% on the year. Kanapke lets the first one go, and he knocks it in. Jack Kanapke, he's got nine on the night. And really, a good second half for Jack Kanapke. He got really involved in the offense. They finally found him, and uh, he's got a chance to go double figures when he had nothing at halftime. Yeah, well, I always like to watch to see the little adjustments that coaches make at halftime. Sure. You could tell the big one was, hey, we got to get it down into Jack Kanapke's hands, and he's found a lot more space here in the second half. Jack Kanapke is a quality, quality basketball player. 
This is Plyman with the dribble drive. They'll kick it back out. Kaiser finds him again. Back to Caleb Maurer. 315 to go here. Caleb Maurer from way downtown, and he knocks it in. Caleb Maurer with a big time three, and he makes it 50 36 on the Reese Mearing scoreboard. Now, well, Fort Lerman's going to have to get some stops. Ike's fouled out top. You're right. Man, he was way downtown for that one. Caleb Maurer's got 11 on the night. He averages 17.4 for the Redskins. He's their leading scorer. You know, over the last few years, I've covered a lot of basketball by Caleb Maurer, and he is a solid basketball player. Don't let this game fool you tonight. He struggled a little bit, but he's still your go-to scorer for Fort Lorman. Absolutely, and you know, for this Marion local team is now I'm sure they'll get to the free throw line many times, and they got to knock them down, but they can't give up offensive rebounds like that. Almost a steal out there. Ike on the left side, the left-handed three on the way up, and he misses that one. Rebound comes down to Austin Plyman. They'll get it out to Caleb Maurer, dribble drive at the foul line. Finds it down on the post. That's Eilerman misses the shot. Had two opportunities at it, and he misses both of them. Ball comes down to Tate Hess. We're at 2.42 to go. Flyers lead 50-36. Don't forget to stick around for our Stolly Hustle Award winner tonight. You can check out the WSN YouTube page for highlights of tonight's winner. Knee camp out top. The ball gets through the legs of knee camp. Here comes Caleb Maurer. Goes up against Hess, left side. Misses the shot, gets turned around in the air. Holscher with the rebound, comes down, and Eink will control it. He'll find Jaden Mesher on the right side. He lays it in. Jaden Mesher knocks in the deuce, and he makes it 52-36 Excuse me, on the Reese Mearing scoreboard. So just not the night the Redskins were hoping for, and give all the credit to Marion Local. They played a really good game tonight. Yeah, their defense has really stood up to this, you know, really good Fort Laramie offense. You know, come in, you know, averaging, scoring 50 points this Marion local team, which is there above their average now and only giving up 41. So really on track uh, for their season averages. Logan Otterman will go to the line. Foul was on Austin Niekamp. That's his second. Otterman goes to the line. He's got eight on the night. And it's another Union Bank free throw. Misses that one, goes off the back iron, entering the game now for the Redskins. Number 32, Darren Eilerman. And for the Marion Local Flyers, number four, Luke Coleman into the game. Brandon Eink will take a seat for the Flyers. And Austin Plyman will take a seat for the Redskins. Second on the way, and he knocks that one out. Logan Eilerman, he's got nine on the night. Hess will bring it down. They'll go to the corner. Pullman double teamed in the corner. Kicks it back out, and they got a foul in the corner. They're going to say a foul on the floor. Marion Local has four fouls, and Fort Lormie has nine, so one more foul, and every time they go to the line, well, there it is. That's the, that, I'm sorry, I, I was, was only had nine on the board, so now yep. we're at ten, so it's two shots every time. And Luke Pullman steps to the line, shooting 85% from the free throw line. That's a pretty good percentage, partner, 85%. Yeah. Pullman knocks down the first one. Pullman's got 11 on the night. He's had a fantastic night, Luke Pullman has. Yeah, really big in the first half, knocking down some big shots for this Flyers team. Yeah, he's got 12 on the night, and that young man, Luke Pullman, averages 4.5, so a really good night for him. And they're going to get Pullman on the foul out top with 1.29 to go, and the Flyers lead 54-37 on the Reese Mearing scoreboard. Tonight's scoreboard is presented by Reese Mearing and Company CPAs, helping small businesses navigate their financial future. Caleb Maurer with a dribble drive to the foul line. Austin Niekamp corrals it in after a little steal there, and he gets it out top to number 10, Mitchell Ranley. And we'll go back to Tate Hess. Hess finds Jaden Mesher with a nifty reverse layup. And we've got a timeout. We've got a timeout on the floor. We'll take a timeout on the booth. You're watching High School Basketball on WOSN.
Welcome back to Marion Local High School. With one minute, 11 seconds to go in this one. The Flyers lead 56-37. So we've had wholesale changes here. It's like a hockey game, uh, Josiah. So we'll try to keep you updated on who's in the game for everyone. For Fort Loramie, number 34 is in the game. And uh, that is Max Maurer. Number 45, that is Carter Gasson. Number 40 is Noah Manier. Number 21 is... Alex Borger. And right there, number 52 is Carson Plyman. 6'7 forward. He knocks in that one and makes it 56 39 in the game for Marion Local now. Number three, Ryan Homan. Number 14, Kyle Otte. Number 20 is Carter Jones. Number 30 is Kyle Ungren. And number 20 for the Flyers. That's a Carter Jones. And who did I miss here? Number 21 for the Flyers, that's Victor Holscher. So I think I got them all, partner. So everybody at home, you're on TV. <laughs> <laughs> I had no doubt you'd get them all. I got them all, we got them all. So great job by our crew tonight. They did a fantastic job with their camera work, as always. 26 seconds to go. Flyers lead 56-39. Danny Holbrook, Josiah Stober. Real happy you chose to join us tonight for high school basketball here on WSN. Partner, we got lots of basketball ready to go in February and March, and I, I'm so glad to be part of it with WSN. It's, it's fantastic. Yeah, a lot of good games coming up on our schedule, so make sure you stay tuned to <laughs> all that WSN has to bring. So and you know what? <laughs> Tournament time's coming up, too. That's right. I'm excited. That'll do it from Marion Local High School. The Marion Local Flyers defeat the Fort Loramie Redskins in the impact game, 56-39. Partner, the difference in the game for you. Yeah, it was really just that defense by Marion Local. Um, and then also just the variety of scores that they were able to put on the floor. You know, had some of their really role players knock down some big shots, especially in that first sure. half. You know, those so many threes, you know, really extended that lead, made it difficult for Fort Laramie. But, you know, then the second half was a steady dose of Jack Kanapke and Austin Meekamp in the post, you know, really wore down this Fort Laramie team. So, you know, but overall, you know, just a, a really solid, you know, performance on the offensive and the defensive side for this Marion local team. We're going to step aside here, Josiah, when we come back. We'll have our Stolly Hustle Award winner. You're watching High School Basketball on WOSN. Welcome back to Marion Local High School, where you are seeing they are giving the trophy out for the Impact Trophy, a game dedicated to a couple of great members of each community who passed away tragically. And they do this every year, so a great thing tonight. Let's take a look, Josiah, at our Stolly Hustle Award winner. You can check out the WSN YouTube page for highlights of tonight's game. Who we got winning? Yeah, uh, tonight, number four, Luke Pullman. Uh, knocked down some really big shots, especially in that first half. Finished the night with 12 points. Um, you know, really, you know, when you know Jack Knapke wasn't scoring there in that first half, you know, like I said, just knocked down some big buckets for this Marion local Flyers team. Got them rolling, got their offense going, you know, and really played some good defense tonight also on the defensive end. So, um, you know, he's our Stolly Award winner, Luke Pullman, number four. So a big win for the Marion local Flyers. They go to 13-3 and on the season. The Fort Lauderdale Redskins go to 13-5. and so a great night of high school basketball, the impact game from Marion Local High School. For Josiah Stover, I'm Danny Holbrook, and our entire WSN crew saying God bless, and we'll see you next time.